Oh my goodness. I survived the day, Monday. Monday, I'm leaving. January 23rd, oh my God, we're almost to January. January feels like so simultaneously so, it feels like it's been going so fast and so slow. I finally, I was being so lazy. I finally like took a shower a couple hours ago and got my ass out and like went for a long walk around sunset and I'm so glad I got out because I was just being a hermit. I still have my shoes on, you know. Um, I, it's Monday. I, all of January has just like not been a month. Oh my God, I have just been, I mean, I feel like I, I mean, the rain didn't help. The first two weeks of rain sucked. But, like, these last two weeks have been... I mean, it's been a little colder than usual. But, like, today was gorgeous day. I think it was almost 60 degrees. And I was walking in the sun. And, um, I mean, even when, it, if you, even when you wake up and it's, like, 40 degrees, it's still going to be warm out during the day. And I just, like, I've been so lazy. And I feel very... I'm just like out of shape and like I need to get back into my habits and I haven't yeah so I have been like so bad was so like so bad about my diet my exercise like everything this month has been like so shitty and I just cannot get back into my routine and I don't know what's wrong with me so I mean like I did baby steps today like I guess so I mean I feel like but I was, I was like journaling about what I've been doing this month and like basically I've done like not much. I mean like I scrapbooked one weekend. I, oh I did, so I went to Tahoe this weekend just for Saturday. Like I got a bus ticket and did a day trip from the city. So I did go skiing for a day this weekend but like Friday night I was so lazy, I didn't do anything. I did go to happy hour. Okay so, well I also broke my dry January this weekend because I did do happy hour with my co-workers have to work on Friday and then um on Sunday yesterday I well again so like after being just like a fucking lazy piece of shit all day yesterday I was I finally was like you need to just get out and walk around for a little bit if you're not gonna do anything else you fucking lazy bitch so I get up and I walk around and I realize that the Niners game just started so I just set my ass down at um like the new it's called it's the Voli to Voli um, and it's a new bar that like opened up on my street or reopened um, and just like watched the game there I met this really sweet man named Gary he was an old dude he he was he he kind of looked like an old lesbian but he was a dude I think he had a lot of Botox I couldn't figure out if he was gay or straight I don't, I don't think it matters but oh wait he did ask for me I think he did ask for me for a kiss at the end and I gave him one um, well, be so, it was my lucky day. I feel like God wanted me to break my dry January because I got to the bar and I ordered a Modelo and they were out or they were like, my, I had like the last class. So it only filled up like 75% and because it wasn't full, the bartender gave it to me for free. So my first drink was free and then I ordered a cider on my own. So that's like one drink I paid for. And then I got... And then the, my friend Gary bought me two drinks. So that was two more drinks paid for. And then this dude next to Gary, he showed up in like the fourth quarter and I cashed out with like two minutes left of the game. And he ordered me a drink right at the end. Like with like two minutes left in the game. So I chugged that one. So I, had, I think I had five drinks yesterday and I only paid for one of them. So that was a big win. Um, and, but I've just been, so, and then, yes, yeah, so I drank twice this weekend. I really um, shouldn't do that. I should chill more. I do like, I did enjoy it. So, like, I enjoyed Sober January, but also I was, like, a lazy piece of shit and just, like, had a terrible diet. I really need to turn my diet around. Like, I've just been eating crap after crap after crap. It's been so bad. And it's, like, a vicious cycle because then 
I don't want to go to like a, my ballet class when I'm like bloated and my tights and leotard. I'm like, I don't even want to go to high yoga because I feel large and then like, it's just a vicious cycle. And I feel like everything I describe, like I'm just like in bed so much, like I'm falling asleep so early, waking up like not until like seven someday like today i could barely it was so hard to wake up this morning but then it's like okay bitch like i said like you sleep with the windows open so you wake up to like a 40 degree of fucking apartment of course you don't want to get out of bed and you don't refuse to turn any fucking lights on when you come home of course you're falling asleep at like eight o'clock at night like i really so i turned the lights on today the lights are on and um yeah i really should probably maybe close my windows I go to bed so I don't get so cold but also like because I fall asleep so because I can't keep my fucking eyes open when I come home to my apartment like also I had again I had five fucking drinks yesterday but like I always have these big ambitions of like I'm gonna come home and do all this shit and then I come home and I just am like so too exhausted to do anything anyway I just I've been struggling man but I've got a book club on Wednesday, so I finished my book for that, Writers and Lovers. It was a good book. And I'm reading Spare now, the Prince Harry book. I'm only like 10% done. Um, I think I'm going to skip over the war shit because I really don't care. Because I'm pretty, from what I heard, it's split into like, it's like Diana and his mother's death and everything. And then the second third is like the war. And then the last third is about meeting Megan. So I'm just going to probably skip the middle um and i downloaded this other book called the nature of fragile things which is about it sounds interesting it's like a mail order bride so she's an irish it's like about an irish immigrant living in new york who's like desperate to get out and so she does like a mail order bride service to san francisco in 1906 right before the earthquake happens i love a good historical fiction so um I've not been, I've been journaling, pretty good about journaling, and I've not been really good about writing or producing anything really useful. I've just been in fucking, I've been in goblin mode, as the kids say. It's been disgusting. I'm, like, disgusted with my actions over the last couple weeks, truly. But I'm nice and clean now, so I feel good, even though I went on a long walk. I didn't sweat or anything, so I still feel clean. I'm gonna put on my cozy earths and just have a chill night. Um, I, I feel like all my actions, like clearly I've been, I feel pretty kind of at peace this month. I think that's the weird thing about it is like obviously I'm in like some sort of depressive episode if I'm eating like shit, barely leaving my apartment, not even going on like a, like it's hard for me to even get out of the car. Like I've had to go on a walk these last two days took like so much effort. It's so pathetic. Like it's so pathetic. Versus like when I'm in my good speak good swing of things, like I'm waking up early, I'm showering right when I wake up, I'm in a good mood, I'm walking to and from work, I'm getting like ten thousand steps every single day, going to a workout class after work, like in the swing of things. And like that is just not what I've been like the last couple of weeks. So I feel like Obviously, it feels like a depressive episode or something. Like, I feel like I'm clearly going through something. I'm, like, I'm not obviously overweight, but I'm, like, over the weight I like to be. I'm out of shape. I'm out of practice. I'm lazy. I'm in bed so much. I'm barely leaving my apartment. I haven't really seen, like, anyone in San Francisco since, except for, like, some of my coworkers. And, like, I don't know. I've just been, like, such a fucking hermit. And, like, I don't know. Clearly, I don't feel like it's definitely not healthy, you know? So, I need to figure out. I think they have you waiting. The book club on Wednesday will be nice to switch, like, get things going, I guess. Oh, man. I feel like this is, like, so random, but I was just watching a TikTok right before this about like some mom was talking about all of her kids stuff piling up really fast like she's a newborn and she's like she doesn't, as much crap she has to buy for a newborn am i, am I like delusion obviously you don't have fucking kids 
But I'm, am I delusional that, like, a new, like, I don't know. I know there's, like, all these new age moms who, like, hand make all of their kids' food and stuff. So I think that, like, but, like, yeah. isn't a baby, like, like, you can have, give them some toys. Obviously, toys will pile up. But, like, clothes, I guess toys and clothes. But, like, people, like, moms have all these gadgets now. There's, like, a million fucking little gadgets you have to buy. I've been, I just feel like, um, there's a lot of, I feel like there's so much, cr like, consumerism around mom and momhood and stuff. Like, a kid, you just need to get him some baby food and some clothing and, like, a schmock to wear. Like, it's a baby. It's not like you need to get them, like, Ugg boots and, <laughs> I don't know. It's, I'm just confused by, like, <laughs> like... And someone put it in a good term, they're like, when you, when, I mean, these people, it's not like, how much of it are you really, really helping the kid, and how much is it like you're just trying to flex and be a good mom, like, I don't know, whatever. I feel like, what am I doing? I've been also, yeah, just like binging, so I have like no more freaking drag race to watch on Hulu, because I've basically watched everything that's available, and... So then I um, found out about Pit Stop because I don't have, like, I've just been watching things on Hulu. So I've never seen any, like, Untucked or um, any Pit Stop, but I've been watching some Pit Stops. Um, I watched, like, the Bianca ones that she's doing for the current season, season 15, which, I don't know, I feel like, the, like, from what I could gather even, like, on Reddit and stuff and the commu communities I've been reading about for Drag Race, um, it does feel like n after season like 10, it's not really people's favorites anymore, like, I feel like season 4 through 10 are consistently talked about on like the subreddit and like stuff like that versus the later seasons, I don't know, I feel like they've obviously gotten, I don't, I've never seen anything past season 9, so I'm probably just projecting here, but, um, I'm kind of okay with that like I'm not really um, it feels like it's just kind of become a different thing I don't know what am I talking about especially like this season 15 like those the sugar spice tiktok stars on the show I'm like I guess I'm like like am I like bigoted towards twins because there's like something about them that I just really freaks me out a little bit and it's def I think it's the the something that is the fact that they're twin like I think their twinness is freaking me out. I just like, it's fucking weird to me. I'm sorry to the twins out there. Like, don't mean to attempt twin, like, defend the twin community, but like, there's something. Twins are fucking freaky, dude. Like, identical twins. Hmm. Um. But I've been trying to, like, think about. I do want to watch more All Star seasons. Like, I've been. So I've been trying to, like, I've been watching, like, the pick. Pit stop for All Stars Seven, which is like the All Stars of all the winners, with the one I think Jink wins it. Um, just because I don't have any way to watch it, so I might as well watch the pit stops of them. Um, but yeah, I do want to try to find a way to get watch more All Stars because I feel like I already kind of picked out my favorite queens, and I know there's probably more talented people up between from like season ten to fifteen, but I have no way of watching them, so I'm just gonna cope. But I've been trying to figure out who my favorite queens are. So I have, I found a list of like every season. Well, I'm trying to figure out what my favorite season is because there's some like, okay, so I've never, I haven't seen season one and that's the one where Phoebe Sahara Benet wins. And I don't really recognize like anyone on that list except for Pork Shop, Victoria Pork Shop Pork. And season two, I also have not seen season two, but I saw Tatiana on one of the all-stars. She is so fucking awesome. And Juju B, I've like seen. She's like always around at like those event finale events and stuff. Pandora Box, I've seen, but I don't really know. Um. And then Shangela's from season two. Oh my god, I think Shangela is um, like the most beautiful queen of them all. I don't know why. There's something so captivating about her. She is so fucking beautiful. I don't know why I find her 
to be so gorgeous. Her and Tatiana also is really fucking gorgeous. And there's something about Alyssa Edwards and Shangela that I think it's like they have like the same mouth or something. They remind me of each other, which is crazy because outside of drag, they look nothing alike, Alyssa Edwards and Shangela. But like when they have their drag on, they look so similar to me. I don't know why. And then season three, which I haven't seen because it's not on, not on Hulu, is Raja, who everyone loves Raja, it seems. Manila, Alexis Mateo, I only know Chantel again. Um, I don't really know anyone else. And then season four, I did watch. And I like don't really die for Sharon Needles. I don't know, Sharon does not do it for me. I think they're really just Chad Michaels, honestly. Fifi O'Hara, Latrice like Jiggly Caliente, at Willem. There are a bunch of star or like queens that I really can't tell the difference between. And it's like Willem, Ivy Winters, Milk. Like there's like a certain, that type of dude. I'm like, you guys are all the same person to me. Um, and then I also sometimes confuse like, like Trinity K. Bonet and Monet because they have similar names and they kind of look like, sometimes I can, there's like certain demographics of, Queens that I kind of confuse sometimes. But yeah, the Milk, Willem, Ivy, Winters, there's like a couple more girls in that list of like, just like vague, tall, skinny, normal looking white dudes. And I like cannot tell any of them apart. I don't know why. Willem is one of them. Like Willem does nothing for me. And Sharon Needles is, I don't know, also. Okay, so season four, I'm not like that crazy about. I think season five is like definitely one of the best. Jinx, Alaska, Roxy, and Detox. Like that top four. Okay. I guess I'm gonna do like I'm gonna go based off like best top four. So like Sharon, yeah, Sharon, Chad, if you feel Latrice is like one not that strong for me. Season five is so strong. Jinx, Alaska, Roxy, like whatever. But Detox and Coco and Alyssa Edwards right behind them. Like goddamn. And then Ivy Winters, whatever. Jay Jolie. Cute. Um Honey Mahogany is from San Francisco, San Francisco Queen. But, okay, so no one really else on that season. But, like, that top six is so fucking strong. Jinx, Alaska, Roxy, Detox, Coco, and Alyssa Edwards. Like, damn. Season five might, is, might be my favorite. But, okay, but then season six is so strong with Bianca and Adore and Courtney and Darian. Okay, that is... And then Bendela Crumb right behind them. Okay, so I would probably put Benda, like, Dela above Courtney. But that top four, yeah. Yeah, I would switch Courtney and Bendel Crumb. But Darian is also so strong. Those, that's a really top, that's really strong. I love Adore. And Bianca. Okay. That's, so season five and six are really strong. I don't really like Ganja. Trini K. Bonet is good. Jasmine Fox is cute. Milk, like, does nothing for me. Jigun is such a bitch. Like, oh my god. I, she's funny. But like, oh my god, in that, like, the first season, she's so vicious. Holy shit. April Carry On, Vivacious, Magnolia. It's, that's just a stack season. And Seven is pretty good. Violet Chachki, Ginger. Per okay, yeah, Pearl's another one of those, like, milk. Pearl does nothing for me. Absolutely nothing. I think Kennedy Davenport is one of, like, the best. She's such a good dancer. I feel like she does not get enough credit. Kevin A. Davenport, she needs to win something soon. She's so fucking good. Okay, so definitely I would switch out, for top three, I would definitely switch out Kennedy and Pearl. That's such a mistake, but that's a pretty top four. And then Trixie and Katya are right behind them. So seven's pretty strong. Um, and Jasmine Masters. Okay, seven is, seven is pretty strong. And then eight is also so fucking good. I think eight might be my favorite. Bob the Drag Queen, Kim Shi, and Naomi Smalls is probably the best top three. And then Chi Chi right behind them. Oh my god. Derek, whatever. Thorgy? Okay, Thorgy is weird because I really like her as a person. And I love her look out of side of drag, but I don't really like her drag looks. Like her drag persona doesn't... I don't like the look. I don't know what it is. I think it's the wigs. But I like her personality and I like her. I just don't like her look. And oh my god, I was watching one of the pit stops and like... Last night, another reason why I'm fucked up is that I was like woke up at like 2 a.m. and was watching fucking drag race shit from like 2 to 4 probably when I was supposed to get up at 4 because I hate myself. 
Um, but I was, they, I didn't know that Chi Chi is passed away. I was so devastated to find that out. She is, Chi Chi is like, she was one of my fucking faves. Oh my god. And it's funny, like, the season eight, I feel like, maybe it's just like the editing of the show, but I feel like I really, between like Chi Chi and Kim Chi, like, I just really felt, I don't know, I felt like I really had like a, I felt more of a connection to a lot of the girls this season. Kimchi is so sweet. Oh my god. And hearing her just like about her life in Korea and how her mom has like no idea. Like fucking literally every Easter and East and South Asian person I've ever met. How they have a whole different life that their parents know nothing about. It's crazy. Naomi Smalls is like so fucking hot. And Chi Chi. I probably would have switched Chi Chi for Naomi but that's such a strong four. And Derek is like definitely cool, whatever. Thorgy, yeah, I like her, but like don't like her look. As to Betty, I did not like her. Naisha Lopez is really pretty. Cynthia Lee Fontaine is honestly like, kind of annoying. Um, so that was a that, but season eight is so strong. Okay, but season nine is also crazy with Sasha Valor is so good and Peppermint and Shea Coule and Trinity the Duck. That's another really strong top four. And Alexis, like, whatever, I don't really, for some reason, Alexis and Roxy, I was literally confusing the two for a little bit, for a decent amount of one of their seasons. Um, I think what it was is I watched Relax the Talks on All Stars, and then I went back and watched season five, but before that, I think I watched season nine, and I thought, I was like, oh, is that Roxy? But I was like, wait, no, because season nine is after. I was just getting confused between the two. Nina Bobina, Nina Bobina Brown. <laughs> She's kind of weird. Oh my God, Valentina. Okay, this season is really good. Pheromone, Aja, Cynthia Le Fontaine again, Eureka. Oh yeah, Eureka like hurt herself and had to go home. Oh my God, Valentina is so good. Okay, so season nine might be the best, especially that crazy fucking new reunion where Shea Coule just like popped the fuck off. And then I haven't seen anything after that. Okay, so season nine is strong. And eight. And five. <laughs> They're all strong. God, five through nine is definitely a good run. Oh. I, wonder, I think there's, I looked up also like a list of like how people rank their favorite on like one of those like rank.coms where you can like vote up and down there's like a whole list of everyone's favorite drag queen i was just curious to see who they give the most liked is in the community what did i look that up i think i did look that up Doo -doo -doo. i'm so sad about Chi Chi. oh my god like that really that really made me sad Did I ever look this up? Do, 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 do. Oh my god, Chandler is so pretty. And Violet Joshki is like. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna look it up again. What are those websites where they successful anymore? What do people think? Oh, I don't really care. So I need to find a new fixation and I need to keep reading my books and not be such a... Oh, I have to get my life together. What am I doing tonight? What time is it now? Seven o'clock, seven twenty. I should really put on my pajamas and just see. All I want to do is just like watch something stupid, watch something mindless. I still need a journal for the day. I can't forget that. I need to go to yoga tomorrow. It's like the last thing I do. Raven, she's so cute. I have like, what am I, I have like nothing to say even, like my thoughts are like, what is wrong with me? I'm like, like, 
like all day long, all I do, all I do is have thoughts racing through my head. Anyway, I can't even stand the sight of me. What am I even talking about? You look like from the side, I just looks. I just feel so gross. I hate the way I feel. At least my hair doesn't look so because my hair is long. I bought for the book club, I bought some pita crackers and graham crackers, and then I bought hummus, buffalo chicken dip, and cannoli dip. So two like savory, one sweet for book club on Wednesday. Hopefully it goes to, oh, down well. And all from Trader Joe's, obviously. And I was gonna buy myself some flowers. Oh, which by the way, that, that new fucking Miley Cyrus song, I can buy flowers. I like don't know why everyone's dying like over it. It's like, it's, it is like not that good of a song. Am I crazy? Like, I just don't get the hype. I really don't. And everyone's saying like it's a twist of like, when I Was Your Man by Bruno Mars. And I feel like that's just a pure coincidence. Like, buy myself flowers, hold my own hand, take myself dancing. Like, these aren't, it's not like they're that unique. Like, it's like a classic Taylor Swift lyric. Like, I feel like these lyrics are not that original. Like, I don't know. Am I crazy? And then like, there's all these, what are everyone's talking about? Like, what are they even talking about? that she like dropped it on his, her husband's birthday and like all these just dumb, I don't know. I'm like, why is everyone like, I think it's like the Taylor Swift of it all of like fans like decoding things and looking for all these secret messages where it's like, dude, this girl's just releasing her music. It's not that deep, chill out, whatever. And oh yeah, because they said that the song was like, like Liam Hemsworth or whatever Hemsworth she married, um, I think it was Liam. I don't know the difference. Um, but that that he like dedicated that song to her. By like for like it was like their wedding song. Why would a song why would it when I was your man be a song for your wedding? It's literally about like missing somebody. It's that doesn't make any sense. Like who started that rumor? Because it's like the fakest thing I've ever heard. And then just like all this stuff about like the suit she was wearing and the house she was in, like who the fuck cares? Jesus Christ. Everyone's freaking out. And I hate that I'm like learning what's like, I wish I never fucking knew what Tarte was and who Alex Earl was and like, why do I know any of this shit? Why do I know any of that shit? I just figured, I just learned who she was recently. And like, I don't know. I have a 26 year old woman. Like what are, what are we doing talking about like a college, this girl's in college. What are like adult women doing talking about her? I'm just confused. I feel like we need, I don't know. I'm so out of it. Let's see what I actually got done for my to-do list today. I did not journal yet. I did work. I did return my helmet from Ailey's. Dropped it off at the UPS store. I did not organize my kitchen. I did go to Trader Joe's. I have not read yet. I have not done any stretching or rolling out, which I really need to do. Okay, so I've done like basically nothing. Good for me. So easy. And then I know I didn't do any exercise. I did not work as well as I should have. I honestly, and I, yeah, again, I know like these past couple weeks of mine have been are probably clearly like signs of me not doing well if I'm like just sitting here alone getting fat and not drink like. But I've been very. It's like I kind of feel at peace though. I, and obviously, this is not a way to live. Like, I, this is no way to live, just like on your couch watching fucking YouTube and, but again, I'll give myself a break because of the rain, 
and sometimes it is nice to just reset and be like a sloth for like a week but not for like a fucking month bitch like um I really said I went skiing this weekend and I did finish my book and <sighs> but and it does, again I feel like also very at peace with not I'm so happy to not be dating honestly like I am very much in a mode of like nothing I, I will never have any feelings for a man ever again probably, probably that will switch in like a month or two but like that is how I feel now like they're so like I am so I really am so done with like dating it's so fucking dumb like why is it just like why is it just why is it just assumed that like any like all young people have to date and get paired up like who why it really is the dumbest fucking thing like why would i let's tether myself to anyone it's truly like Like why can't why why is be feeling like I'm single and I'm not in, I'm not interested in dating I'm not looking for anything. Like didn't Rihanna say that? I'm not looking for anything. Like I'm really not. I mean like I guess with Rihanna like maybe it's just again it's just a stage in my life. I'm 26 so I'm not like obviously looking for anything juicy. But like seriously like why? Ugh, am I really gonna like tether myself to some fucking loser for the rest of my life? I don't think so. Like I don't I don't think that's how I want to live my life. I think I want to live it. Yeah, truly, if I had the funds, if I had infinite money, I would just have raised three kids on my own. That is what I would do. That's, that is like all I, that's like all I know I want, I want in life is to have children and to be, parent someone. And I, <laughs> again, I know it's like so irresponsible to talk about single parenting and single being a single mom, but like, oh my God, if I had the funds, I would do it in a heartbeat, in a fucking heartbeat. I really would. And I would. And so in my head, honestly, when I'm, I think I'm always so freaked out about like my finances and everything just because like in my head, I'm just thinking like, that's like the, what I'm striving for is like to be able to just raise kids by myself. And if I do that, I'm going to have to be like really frugal and just save a lot, you know? And so I'm all, like, every time I save anything or I put stuff into my savings account or invest it, like. I don't plan on touching any of that money. I plan on, that's like my, for all, it's like all for my children, you know, like, or spending it on, you know, spending it on them and their activities and stuff, like, so, I don't know. I know that maybe it's not like the best thing to say, like, what if, like, it, it's, stu is it stupid to be saving money for kids you don't have yet? I don't think so. I think it's responsible. And I'm not, I'm not expecting anyone else to, like, come and, split their income with me like I'm that's I'm gonna set it up to try to do this for my fucking self because that is what I want honestly like if I could have it that way if I could afford it I would do it <sighs> anyway I do I love this bag my bag my mom got me I switched out the switched out the whatever it's called, the strap for like the cute little fabric -y one. So, so on my half girl walk today in my fucking exercise dress, it was like a little toned down. And I like it because I'm like, yeah, so I can like judge it up and put the fancy gold chain on when I'm going out somewhere nice. And then just like hitting up the UPS store, little casual little strap. It's cute. It's the cutest bag. I really do love it. My mom has great taste like sometimes. Sometimes. The cozy earth and this is our art fucking hit, I'll say that. <sighs> what am I gonna do? And I might be getting laid off soon. Who knows? Hmm. What am I gonna do for money then? Oh my god. Am I gonna have to like move home? Kill me. I can't even think of what I think that's also like maybe why I'm so fucking out of it just because work has been very demotivating which is terrible because I really need to be proving myself now more than ever that I, so I don't lose my fucking job 
If we were broke, but we're... I guess that's all I have to fucking say. It's weird, like, I... Like, too, like, before, before the holidays, and, like, I was literally having such a fucking panic. Like, I was wanting to literally fucking die every day. I was just, like, so miserable, crying and crying and crying, like... And now I guess I guess I would I just feel like more not like January. If I could describe January in one word, it would just be like numb, numb and lazy and sloth. Like, but I haven't been crying. Like I haven't been sad. You know, like like I was so I was call I was like calling my all my I was calling my mom my dad I was calling my mom and my brother and my dad like in a fucking panic for like most of November and December, like, I was just fucking crazy, I was going fucking crazy, and, like, this month, again, like, I, all my symptoms and all my behaviors point to, um, you're clearly going through some issues right now, but, like, I have not been crying, I've not been stressed, I've not been anxious, like, I've just been mm. Mm. eating shit, eating complete fucking garbage, being lazy as fuck. And it's not, I'm not proud, like I need to get out of it. Wait, where are you going? And I need to, you know, maybe I'll try to like learn something new. I don't know, you know, so I'm, I wanna get into like a good, Find a good like YouTube history channel that's engaging. And start learning more. I feel like I've just been consuming my life. like not that again. I love and loving drag race and clearly have been consuming it nonstop. But maybe it's time to tune into some like mind thought provoking content for a second. Because even the books I've been reading, I mean, books are all usually thought provoking. You don't have to read like fucking War and Peace to get. To, you know, it doesn't have to be so serious, I feel like. But I've been reading some, like, Spare is, like, the fluffiest book ever. My book club book is, like, pretty fluffy. Like, it was great, but it was just a little fluffy, and so we should probably, I don't know, switch it up. Time to switch it up. All right, I'm going to put my cozy lights on. I'm so excited. Where are they? I'm going to just look at them. Oh, I put my shoes away. These are so good. A little mini Reese's and Toto Joe's. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Why can't I just be as rich as Oprah? Why not gonna have like 15 kids? I guess maybe Oprah's so rich because she doesn't have kids. That's Oprah's secret, y'all. I wonder where Oprah is right now. I feel like... I have seen one or two, three of Oprah's properties. Maybe more. Because she lives in that building all the way down by the lake near Navy Pier in Chicago. So I've seen that building. She has a condo in there. I have biked past her house in Maui. We stayed at a hotel nearby and it was like up on a cliff and someone pointed it out. They're like, that's Oprah's house. And I saw one more of her location. Oh, 
I went skiing in college in Telluride, to Telluride. And um, I saw her house and Sylvester Stallone's house. And where else do you need more? Where else does she have property? Mm. Obviously, she has property in Santa Barbara, which I've been to, but I haven't seen her house. But I feel like that's a good indicator of how bougie you are. It's how many um, Oprah, how many places have you been to where Oprah, prop, where Oprah has property? So obviously I'm bougie as fuck. Oh, hers is in Montecito, not Santa Barbara. I feel like I'm breathing hard. Like just getting up and getting my pajamas and getting a fucking piece of chocolate. And I'm like huffing and puffing like a fucking whale. <laughs> okay, well, I don't have time. Sorry, Oprah. How do you? How do I get as rich as Oprah? And I hate that I need. Like I don't even know. I don't need to be as rich as Oprah. I just need enough money so that I can give my kids a good life. Like I don't need a bunch of shit. I don't. Oh my god! Even the two boobs are like. Oh, I feel so big. I'm such a blob. I'm going on a fast. I'm fasting tomorrow. I'm not eating. I really need like just a water, like a cleanse. A cleanse of our cleanses. Oh, I'm pretty good at changing. 